The man just swiped through four decks of playing cards with a card cutter. He instantly figured out a way to win $16 million, so he purposely placed a small bet of 1 million chips first to lure his opponent to call blindly. Sure enough, when the tycoon saw that the man had only bet 1 million chips, he didn't even think about it and called for 1 million, but he didn't realize that he had fallen into the trap set by the man. According to the rules of blackjack, ace can be used as either a 1 or an 11. 2 to 10 corresponds to the number of points on the cards. As for J, Q, K, they are all 10 points. During the game, as long as you don't reach 21 points, you can call unlimitedly, but once you exceed 21, you're out of the game. At this point, the tycoon took out a K, and Jack has a pair of aces. According to the rules, pairs can be split, but every time you split a pair, you're adding a million chips by default. However, the tycoon didn't realize that. Jack had already tampered with the cards when he cut them, until the 16 aces in these four cards were all dealt to Jack's hand, and were split into 16 pieces. He realized that Jack was playing a long game. He said, your cards are fucking split 16 ways. Obviously, the tycoon was panicking, but in order not to lose face in front of the celebrities, he can only pretend to be calm and continue to deal the cards to the 16 cards. With the end of the second round of dealing, the biggest point on the jack is only 17 points. The tycoon was overjoyed. He said, hey, hey, there's only one 17. The others are all threes and fours. You're dead. Jack says, keep dealing. The tycoon says, okay, one card to bankrupt you. He first flung out a card of his own. Turns out it's a two of clubs. The rich man is so fucking pissed off. He turns green. He puts all his hopes on the next card. But when he turns it over, it's AK. And that puts the tycoon's three cards over 21. The audience clapped their hands in admiration. They all praised Jack's gambling skills as the same as his master's. It's true that a famous teacher makes a good student. Jack then told the tycoon, there are 16 cards here, each with $1 million. You lost $16 million. That's how Jack became famous in the gambling world. Not only did he buy a 500 square foot villa, but he also got himself a butler and a bodyguard. Seeing him living so happily every day, Jack's nemesis, David, was furious. In order to ruin Jack's reputation, he organized a gambling game in his casino. He threw $20 to Jack in front of the celebrities to see if he could win $25 million in an hour. A man closes his eyes and carefully recognizes the sound of the dice clashing through his ears. Then he smiled slightly and threw a $10 chip onto the big point. The dealer saw that so many people were betting on the big one. He kicked the switch at his feet and magnetically changed the face of one of the dice. However, this small sound could not escape Jack's ears. So before the dealer rang the bell, he pressed his remaining $10 chips into the three fours at 150 times the odds. And when the dealer opened the sieve, the dice were exactly what he had heard. In just two minutes, Jack won $1,500 in just two minutes with a $20 chip. Then he went to the blackjack table, where the stakes were even higher. He bet the entire $1,500 on the draw. David, the owner of the casino, gave the dealer a wink. He instructed him to deal the cards to Jack first. However, Jack seemed to expect the casino to monitor his cards, so he showed one of his cards, Q, and then he stacked the two cards on top of each other. Then he carefully rolled the other card, showing a small edge of the numbers. Sure enough, when the surveillance cameras caught Jack's hand, they immediately analyzed it. The computer analyzed 55% of the cards as 2, 38% as Q, and 7% as 9. The dealer took a look at the dealer's cards after receiving the situation, and then to make sure it was bigger than Jack's hand, he turned the dealer's 3 of diamonds into a 9 of clubs. Unbeknownst to him, Jack's other card was also a 9. According to the rules of blackjack, JQK is all 10s. Both players have 19 points, so it's a draw. As a result, Jack won the most money at the whole table. In just half an hour, he made 2, 5 million dollars. Then he followed up his victory by placing 2, 5 million chips on the draw. Then he did the same thing again, only showing a sharp corner. The system analyzed it again. There's a 78% chance that Jack's other card is an ace. Combined with the 8 of hearts he had already shown, the points of the 2 cards in Jack's hand would not be more than 10 points. David immediately ordered the dealer to deal a 16 point hand to the dealer. Jack was overjoyed because he did not have an ace in his hand, but a pair of 8s, just like the dealer also 16 points. It turns out that Jack had already figured out David's joker's trick, so he hit a piece of dental floss in the middle of the card before reading the cards. Then he used the dental floss to fool the surveillance. Jack was about to win $25 million in an hour. David was furious. He arranged for a one-eyed man with special powers to deal with Jack. He thought he could bankrupt Jack. He didn't realize that Jack's friend, Star, also had supernatural powers. So a bloody gambling game began. The dealer flicked the spring on the sieve twice. Inside the dice began to shake at once. However, just as Star used his special ability to see that all three dice points were small point, Jack, however, told him with a calm face. He said, there is a button under the table. As long as the button is stepped on, the dice will rotate. Upon hearing this, Star immediately found the button on the table that could control the dice. Then through his mind, he short-circuited the wires connecting the button. Then he gave Jack a wink, signaling that he could place his bets. As Jack bet all of his 10 million in chips, the owner of the casino immediately gave the cashier a kill sign. The dealer received 
received the instruction and nodded his little head. Without thinking, he kicked the button next to him. The dealer was bounced off the table, sitting next to Jack. The one-eyed man took the opportunity to secretly change the dice in the sieve cup into a big point through his mind. This also made Star realize that he is not the only one in this casino who has super normal capabilities, so he hurriedly put his hands together and turned the dice back into small point. Seeing this, the one-eyed man didn't dare to show weakness either. He shook hands again and turned the dice into big point. They were at loggerheads with each other. You changed the dice. I changed the dice. They kept changing the number of points of the dice through their minds. Gradually, both of them started to go crazy. Even though the three dice were spinning in the sieve, they didn't have the slightest intention to stop. Until the sieve couldn't bear the pressure and flew out with a bang. Only then did they realize that the dice inside had already been crushed into powder. David, in order to prevent the gamblers from discovering the evidence of the dealer's manipulation of the game, he decided to meet Jack and Star personally, so as to distract the attention of the other gamblers. Who knows that just after the dealer had dealt the cards, the one-eyed man temporarily closed his right eye. He planned to use his ability to see Jack's cards. However, Jack had already expected that this asshole would use this trick, so he hurriedly put his hands together and tightened his cards tightly. In this way, even if you have 10 penetrating eyes, you can't see the number of cards in his hand. Seeing that the one-eyed man didn't give him any information, David panicked. But in order to maintain his face as the owner of the casino, he could only pretend to be calm and conduct the game. You speak first, Jack said. $25 million. Stud. The rich man next to him was stunned and decided to fold his hand, but David didn't believe it. He confidently called with $25 million, as the cards were dealt one after another. Jack had the four of hearts, the seven, the jack and the ace. David had the queen of diamonds, the nine of spades, and the three and nine of clubs. Seeing that the matching hand can become three nines, David immediately excitedly added $10 million, because he didn't believe that Jack could get five cards of the same suit. However, arrogant people often do not have a good end. The moment Jack snapped and turned over the bottom card, David was as angry as a 200-pound kid, because there were five cards of the same suit in front of Jack's eyes. Thus, Jack had earned a table full of money through his gifted gambling skills.